All right, uh, welcome. Again, this is an example of a pump. As I promised you that I will just upload an example of a pump. That's our direction. Now, I would recommend that before you watch this video, you do check the lesson on pumps where I derive the equation which I used to solve the problems on pump. But if you are good with uh, the equations, then you can use your equation and try and solve this problem or check how I solve the problem. Now, I just tried to. I, I took this question from one of the past papers. So it's uh, I just tried to select the common questions where they ask you your power and your volume. But you can find another questions. Uh, so you have to check other questions uh, through your recommendations. I can upload other questions which you can also do together. But for now, try and understand the lesson which I've uploaded and then with this example. From there, you can take it from there to see whether you are... Uh, on track or not now they say this is a three cylinder pump so this is a uh, your three cylinder pump uh, with a diameter of 12 centimeter and then a stroke length of 50 centimeter and then your pressure is 1000 kilopascal so the first question says Calculate the power required to drive the pump at 350 revs per minute. So this is uh, your rotational frequency and then uh, if the efficiency is 90. All that I've underlined with my green marker is your data. So when you solve a problem on, on your power, on your, in your science, you first need to write your data down. I won't write the data down to have a space. So my data is, I have C of my three cylinders, I have, okay, let me write it down. Cylinder is three, diameter of a pump is 0 0.12 meters. I'm converting my centimeter to meter, and then stroke length is 0 0.5 meters, and then pressure is 1000 kilopascals this is what you are given you have a number of cylinders diameter of a pump uh, of your plunger stroke length of a plunger and then uh, your pressure now they want your power so they want you to calculate your power if you are also given your rotational frequency, which is 350 revs per minute, and then you are given your efficiency as 90%. From the equation which I gave you, you need to now write power is equal to a quantity of liquid delivered times pressure. You do have a pressure. And then your Q is V and C, meaning it will be V and C times pressure times 100 over efficiency. Remember, you do have your efficiency. Now, your volume is area times height, which will be pi over 4 d squared times height. This will give you the volume times rotational frequency times number of cylinders times pressure times 100 over efficiency since you want uh, your power of your pump that is your input power. Theoretically you're getting your output and then you, you want your input power. So let us so in pi over 4 times your diameter is 0 0.12 squared times your stroke length is 0 0.5 multiplied by uh, your rotational frequency is 350. It is in rev per minute. Remember, your power is joules per second. So you divide by 60 to change this rev per minute to rev per second. Multiplied by number of cylinders is 3. 
multiply by your pressure is 1000 times 100 your efficiency is a uh, 90 you punch this down you will have a uh, One oh nine comma nine five six kilowatt. Your pressure is in kilowatt, so your uh, is in kilopascal, so your answer will be in kilowatt. I didn't change my pressure to be in pascal, so my final answer is in kilowatt. You can calculate your quantity of liquid delivered separately, and then you go and put on this equation, or straight away you know that your Q is VNC. So you put VNC times pressure, and then your, your volume is pi d squared times H. Uh, this is your log equation that you have. And then you put your values, you get your answer. So that was, this is how we calculate your power every time. Power is quantity of liquid delivered per second times uh, my pressure. Remember, your rotational frequency is in rev per minute, meaning this per minute, uh, you need to convert your minutes to second uh, you divide by six because it is per minute it is a denominator it is a denominator so your 60 is a denominator there. so that is how you calculate so let's have to get a second one in my second section they want a volume of water delivered per minute so they want Q in per minute, uh, meaning my rotational frequency, they want it in per minute, uh, they want to deliver per minute if a slip is 13%. Uh, so they want volume of water delivered in liters per minute, I'm sorry. So your final answer have to be in liters per minute delivered well, so it's a volume of water delivered in liters per minute so that is your final answer it should be liters per minute so they say if a slip is 13 percent therefore your efficiency is 100 minus 13 your efficiency is 87 percent so you use the efficiency of 87%. Your sleep gives you the your efficiency. Now, Q, quantity of liquid delivered is VNC times efficiency of 100. You want your actual volume delivered per second, per minute, uh, since they want it in per minute. So you want your actual, this one is your theoretical without your efficiency. If they didn't say anything about your efficiency, then you won't put your efficiency. You only add your efficiency if they gave you. Now, uh, your volume will be pi over 4 d squared times h times n times c times efficiency over 100. So let's just put our values. Pi over 4, your diameter is t0, 0,12 squared. Your h is 0.5. This is 350. I won't divide by 60 because I want my answer in minutes. So it is already in rev per minute. So my answer will be in per minute. Times 3. This is the number of cylinders. Times 87 over 100. That is uh, your efficiency. Punch that, you will get 5,16. A meter cube per minute, and then you convert uh, your meter your meter cube to liters, which will be five comma one six uh, six times one thousand. Then you will have five one six five point seven two. Liters per minute. 
it will find an answer. So that is how you calculate your volume of liquid delivered per second. You just need to remember all the time. You just need to remember your equation. For your power, you just need to remember your equation. This is power, this is pressure. This is just an example, very important example. Somewhere, uh, I think 2018 or 2019, I'm not sure which past paper is this, but I have a worksheet with the past papers. So I just took this, and then I, I see this as one of the very good examples on your palms. Just try to analyze this, and then we can wait on a section, uh, on a comment section for any question that you might have and then if you require uh, another example that you can do i can just upload uh, the example which you can try and then later on you can uh, do the pro do the problem do the solution i hope you enjoyed my video and then i'm gonna meet you now uh, on my next video where we do a lesson on stress and strain thank you